Hello everybody. Well, the big day is here. The big bud DLC is released. Well, I've been playing around with it a little bit. As you can see, I've been putting all of those machinery out. Every plow, cultivator, cedars and whatever that <laughs> comes with it. Well, I have to say, I'm a little bit impressed. It was uh, much, much better than I actually thought it would be. Uh, we actually did get um, two trailers here with, with that pack, this big uh, manure spreader. It's actually a 70,000 liter manure spreader. Um, is it from what? BR card. I don't. Know. I don't know how to um, pronounce it, but I have to say these mods uh, or these uh, this DLC pack is actually perfect for a special map that we are playing on on um, on fr Saturdays. Cherry Hills. This is just perfect for that map. Can't be better. Uh, we have this uh, Brent uh, overloader wagon. It holds 53,000 liters. It's a really big one. Perfect for, for that map too. I just, I have to say I'm, I'm was impressed when I checked and put, took all the uh, mods out and <laughs> not the mods all the machinery out and just looked at it well this is a cedar uh, it's called terminator needs 450 horsepower uh, tractor um, don't remember the the, the size but we'll, we'll fi figure that out soon uh, we have this uh, 14,000 liter uh, cedar tank for seeds and fertilizer what they have done is actually quite cool with it because you see this you can actually reverse a trailer to this and tip in it so it's quite uh, neat actually let's jump in here and let's see we select uh, this one and we go to press V now I think we are uh, oh, filling the, the seed tank and now he goes over to the fertilizer tank now go back to the seed tanks and when you're done just press X and the pipe folds together like that neat isn't it and um, this is the standard bud but you can't change the horsepowers at all. The horsepower on on the biggest uh, is the same. It's the same on the other smaller bud. You can't change anything on that tractor at all. You can't put him on twin wheels or nothing. It's just standard as it is in the shop. But this one is standard. Um, it's actually really good sounders in it. You hear that? And the smoke, everything, we don't want to drive into stuff here. But I have to say, uh, it's a really neat, um, uh, neat package, neat tractor. I, I did like it more than I was th thought I would be because, um, well, I have to say, I was not sure in the beginning, but this is actually a really nice tractor. Um, even inside, well, it is standard. Well, yeah, it looks like a box with some controls in it, but I actually do like it better than I thought I would be. A good view behind you here too, and everything. Well, let's turn it on off. We were gonna find out the whites of the cedar, so let's go in here. The cedar, this one is 18 meters and as you see 450 horsepower 
this was the grain tank, 14,000 liters. You see it sees uh, wheat, barley, canola, soya beans, um, oil radish, grass, sunflower, corn, and um, sugar beets. So this cedar is actually really good on in on that uh, you have corn in that too. Uh, then we have this other cedar here. That one is 18.2, and that seeds basically the same. Uh, that has 5,800 liters. So th this one don't have uh, an extra tank for it. Uh, it just has the standard tanks there. Then we have this one. This one is actually 25 meters, 25.6 meters. But this one needs a little bit more horsepower. It's um, 640 horsepower. And this one only seeds wheat, barley, canola, soya beans, oil radish, and grass. So this is for the smaller, uh, for, for the basic uh, crops, I would say. And we have the tank here. Um, the tank you actually can use for uh, more than just that. And that's a good thing. Uh, three thirty-four thousand five hundred liters. So you're you're not gonna need to to fill it for a while by using this um, uh, package, or at least this package together. You, I'm not sure how this work. If you can have this one in front of that one, we just have to test it, see how that will go. Uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, we have the plows. This one here. This one actually, you can uh, have two different designs on. Um, it is 10.5 meters. I really like this plow. It's, it's a beautiful uh, machinery. And you have slated mold boards. Slated mold boards are those that, if I'm right, are the those that are open. But I will I will show you later the difference on on on, on those uh, later later on. And this one, this one is basically uh, made for the big butt because he don't have a uh, three point rear hitch at all. He only have a toolbar. So this one is an actually a three-point hitch for the big butt to, to pull those plows or, or whatever three-point hitch you want to put behind it. So yeah, that is the, the that is what this this one is for. But I'll, I'll show you a little bit later here. Uh, cultivators, we have this one. Uh, Culti plow platinum eight meters. Um, need four hundred and twenty horsepower to pull it. It's eight meters. Yes. And then we have uh, this Swifter SM, uh, 1800, 18 meters, need 500 horsepower um, tractor. And then we have the, the big, big guy here. It's a, a ST820 and that one is not less than 24 meters wide. It's a cultivator. I mean, it's a big, Cultivator. It's a perfect for the map field we are playing actually today on uh, Cherry Hills. So let's see what else was it? The manure sprayer is here and it's 70,000 liters as I said. And it actually sprays 15 meters. You're, you're gonna get far with this sprayer anyway. So let's see. Um, then here is the, the overloader. 53,000 uh, takes wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soya beans, corn, and seeds and the fertilizer actually. So that's good. Uh, the tractors, big bud, you have wheel setup that is standard, twin wheels or triple wheels. So that is the only thing you can uh, choose. It is 1,100 horsepower. So you have a lot of power to pull. So that's nice. 
Uh, did I forget something? This one, uh, not nothing you can do on it. Uh, it is 500 horsepower. It's a really big tractor for 500 horsepower. I mean, my friend has 517, and um, yeah. I would rather go for the Fent than this one because I can use it for more stuff than uh, Big Bad. But yeah, it's a nice addition to the, the package. So we have seen those small stuff here or small or small, whatever you call it. We have the other cedar over here. This is the smaller cedar. I did actually forget to see uh, what this one actually seeds. Yeah, see it's the same as the, the others. It's just a little bit smaller. It's 18.2 meters, so that's nothing else. Um, works really, looks really good. Works good. Perfect for this little tractor here to pull. And then we have the, the big uh, machinery over here. No, we can't put this uh, one actually. Uh, this is actually cedar from Verdesta, Swedish cedar. Hmm, that was actually kind of cool. There is a one thing that I did see. This one has actually a wheel setup, standard or rear rear twir, twin wheel. So it will just have twin wheels on the back. So, well, that is the only thing you can uh, see on it. Uh, this one actually works the same as the other one as you can see yeah it is where this that seed hog it's actually kind of cool it's a big cedar big s cedar as i could say <laughs> if we jump in well look at this monster with triple wheels on it's a big tractor Huh? Look at it. Just beautiful. I have to say. I, I was more skeptical as I said before, but not anymore. I actually did like this uh, package. So let's jump in between the wheels here, in here, and we select that one. Let's put out the pipe. Can fill this with a trailer too. Just reverse to the pipe. And we there is the seeds and now we go to this fertilizer easy peasy as that it's actually quite quite cool uh, I did not think that they were gonna implicate this but um, they actually did it's kind of cool so we have a lot of other stuff here <laughs> this, uh, this package is never gonna end is it well, let's jump into this uh, big bud here. We have the biggest cultivator behind it. Uh, I think this is something that they, they call goose feed. These uh, pins on this um, uh, cultivator. As you can see, this one is big. And this is just a cultivator. I do like it. Uh, it's a perfect, as I said, for Cherry Hills on our live streams. So let's see how it works. The thing with this package is you have to have uh, the view quite far away. So let's put the cultivator down and start pulling. So you have what, 16, 17 kilometers per hour, but he is sliding a little bit. Why is he doing that? Hmm. Should not do that. As you can see, you have a really good view behind you in this tractor. So let's lift this one up. And uh, let's fold it. Let you, see, let you see how this folds. Actually, folds really nice. 
there. So let's just move this one a little bit out of the way. And even have this little bit black smoke. There. So that was that. I wanted to test something here first before we all those gonna cultivate while they um, seed. So let's put down the plow uh, seeder. No, this one won't cultivate at all. This is just plain cedar, nothing else. So the speed on this one is what? 15, 14 to 15 kilometers per hour. So let's fold this one too. Actually kind of cool, he starts on one side before he starts on the other side. And there we go. So, this was the biggest cultivator. Let's go for the middle, middle one. It's right over there. a lot of stuff to go through this one was what 18 meters 18.2 with small geese foot uh, pins so this one is with yeah it actually looks really good too works really good too let's pull it put it on let's drive this one you have 16 kilometers per hour on. Yeah, looks actually really good too. Let's go into cab view. See, is it a good thing about that you can actually see on your side really good where you are? It's actually kind of cool. So now we're here at the plow. Well, you see uh, the difference here on, on this plow from the other one. It's a quite big difference, as you can see. But before we test those out, we take the little cultivator. These, this is a, a serious cultivator. This one will go deep and um, it's, it's just a little bit of like a culture plow, yeah, as it says. So it's not as big as the others, but he needs a lot of power to pull uh, this plow. And you have 10 kilometers per hour on this one because it goes really deep in the ground, as you can see. Really nice black smoke on that tractor too. But this one you can't see as good behind you. You had that big seat behind you that destroys the the view for you. But it's a really, really, really nice uh, package. I have to say again. Let's just pull this one up. Let's just park him here. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Let's uh, go out and look at this plow here. 
it's actually a really good one. I, I really would like to replace all the ones we have on, on uh, Cherry Hills with this plow instead. Look at how big this is. This is a real plow. Serious plow. It actually takes 10 meters. So you can use it like this on an ordinary tractor. Just need to have a good horsepower. Uh, I actually did forget to, to check. Needs 550 horsepower, it says. But I'm actually uh, using it on, on this um, fence here. It's, he's pulling it with no problem with 517 horsepower. See how much it takes at once. Can even have twin wheel, twin wheels on the tractor to to pull this plow with. No problem at all. Thirteen to fourteen uh, kilometer per hour with this plow. Really nice. See the work quite on this. And let's see which one is left. Here we have it. So this is the other plow. The only thing that I have is the three point hitch that we don't have on the big butt. So you have this extra, uh, what do you call it? Um, middle stuff, middle thing. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but um, trail Trailet lifter, okay. Trailet lifter, is it called? Um, it works exactly the same, except you. Um, it will be longer. Uh, everything. So let's put it down and start pulling. So it works the same, except you. You will be far further behind the plow. I do really like this package, I have to say. Uh, it's better than I thought. I don't know how many times I've said that. <laughs> I'm just so excited for some reason. I do like the sound in this tractor. The little, little one. He struggles a little bit with this, with that plow. I noticed. He struggles more than uh, the fan actually. I noticed. Can you hear it? How it struggles. So this tractor is actually too small for, for this plow. But it would work. Probably gonna use just more diesel. <laughs> black smoke from the tractor really black smoke goes uphill and then he starts to struggle a lot well this was everything to show I could show you this is what what is was in the package I don't think I missed anything just so be, to be, be sure, we start with the tractors. We have the little butt, big butt, uh, nothing more here. Uh, auger wagons, we have that one. Yeah, all the auger wagons you can actually uh, choose from green or red. Uh, you have standard crawler track, 
standard or crawler track that is what you have to choose um, sewing machines that is everything I showed you already cultivators that is the three, three of those plows that is that these two sets there there's nothing here no manure sprayer yep there it is and I don't think it was anything else no yeah that's it actually well I, I really hope you enjoyed this little uh, show of mine um, the big bud is in town so if you enjoyed this go and look at my uh, video from yesterday there is a competition big bud DLC competition that you can uh, win this DLC on Friday I will announce the winner so go and look at the video and, and uh, you will find out how to 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 win it or at least be in the competition um, well that's what I have to show you uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me the thumbs up anything to add please give me a comment and uh, thank you for watching see you next time bye bye